Hi, I'm Stephanie from Crosscut Sewing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how and why to use the zigzag stitch. So first, let's go over what the zigzag stitch is. It is a stitch that looks like this, and your needle moves to the left and the right as it stitches this. On my machine here, I just press number five, and it's ready to go. But you should check your machine manual if you're not sure how to set it up. With a zigzag stitch, there are two settings. You have width and length. If you look at the sample that I have here, I sewed these all with a width of seven. And I varied my length from one to three to five. So you can see how that the length is how tight or stretched out the stitches are. But the width, which is the same on all of these, is the distance from point to point. On this sample, I have the length set at three for each and set the width at one and three and five. So you can see that the distance from point to point is different. The size of the zigzag stitch you use is going to be determined by your project. One use for the zigzag stitch is to finish the edge of your project. So when you buy clothes in a store, they are usually finished with a serger, which cuts the edge of the fabric and wraps it in thread. If you don't have a serger at home, you can kind of fake it with a zigzag stitch like this. So it just, you just, I think I used a three width and length here and just kind of sew close to the edge of the fabric and it will kind of wrap those threads and help it to um, stay together as you wash it. Another use for the zigzag stitch is to do applique. So if you want to add a fabric patch to a pillow or a shirt or something like that, you can just um, add your fabric and then stitch with the zigzag stitch, just stitch right around it. And I like to use just a really tiny stitch on this. If you are going to do something like this, you can do a little practice. In my classroom, I usually have students practice on a heart shape because you have a corner here and these curves. Um, so you can just take a little scrap of fabric and cut out a shape or a heart and just practice. And you can start to get the feel for your machine of where the needle is when it goes um, left and right. Another really common use for the zigzag stitch is to sew stretchy or jersey fabric. So if I have fabric like this that stretches, if I sewed with a straight stitch and I stretched this or pulled it over my head if it was a shirt or something like that, the stitches would pop right out. And it might be a little hard to see, but I sewed this with a very tiny zigzag stitch and you can see that the zigzag stitch stretches right with the fabric. So you can use this if you are hemming a t-shirt or some yoga pants and you can try this out with your machine. Try it out, vary the width and the length until you get the sense of what they both do. Before you sew a project, try a little swatch. If you have a swatch of the fabric you're really going to be sewing on, that's helpful too. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.